so today's video is going to be a not overdue requested video but it's something a video that i've been meaning to get out to you guys so that way you guys can do exactly what the title says is to create your own colored acrylics so there's plenty of videos on youtube i definitely have one on how you can create your own colored acrylic using chalk um and that video i actually used a uh, e-file so i'm just gonna you know show you guys another way um how to make your own colored acrylic using a special tool from our favorite place well my favorite place but our favorite place everybody say it with me amazon the link is in the description box if you guys um want to purchase the grinder after you see the video and what we're gonna do but um without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video let me pull up my tablet just so that way i can chit chat with you guys while we are doing this and i can answer any questions that you guys have so um all right so let's get started so again like i said you can make your own colored acrylics um you will need a few items but that the feature item featured item that you definitely will need is, is this tobacco grinder which is um a tobacco chopper so the link is in the description box where you guys can get it it should be the first link that you guys see hello hello thanks for joining Alicia. so um this is how the, the box came which i'm not upset with how the box came as long as i hope i hope that it works hey erica thanks for joining so as long as the product works i can care less on how the box came but obviously as you guys can see it's definitely from amazon so we are going to hi darling nails thanks for joining hello alexandria so we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, so again, I purchased this off of Amazon. Um, obviously, as you guys can see, they come in different colors, but the link that I have down below is kind of like a random color that they will give to you, which I didn't mind because I liked all the colors, gold, blue, red, silver, or black. So I was fine with any of that. Hi, Stacy. thanks for joining. Hi, Brea. Um, so, like I said, this the link will kind of just give you a random choice so you don't get the opportunity to pick your color, even though that would be ideal, right? But if you don't mind, like I didn't mind, I just wanted the tobacco grinder. So the color that they sent me was red. So I definitely wasn't, you know, complaining about that. Hi, Shanessa. So here is what the tobacco grinder looks like. Um, and the reason for me purchasing this is because obviously I have seen like a nail hack. Um, and like I said, I'm sure this is on YouTube as well. So it's not just me who is using it, but I figured there may be um, a YouTuber out there that you don't subscribe, you or you aren't subscribed to as far as nails are concerned. And I figured that I would share this with you guys because I know a lot of you guys actually take what I say into consideration when you're purchasing all of your nail stuff. So I thought that this would be cool to share with you. And not only that, we are definitely going to do a demo, okay? So again, like I said, this is the red one. And I, and I was not disappointed with the red one. Like I said, any of the colors I would have been happy with. So this is what it looks like. Obviously, this is the container where you would put your chalk in it which again, this is what we are going to do. Hi, Daitasha. I hope I'm saying your name right. Thank you. Hello. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Here are the blades for the grinder and you just screw this on. So obviously what you want to do is add your piece of chalk, which you guys are going to tell me what color we're going to do. And we're going to do two of them just for the sake of the video. So this is the container that you'll be doing all the mixing in. Um, obviously you will also need um, acrylic powder and you will need chalk. And also you will need monomer and a brush, um, which like I said, you have to purchase those things separately. 
but I'm just highlighting this tobacco grinder, okay? So, I'm sorry, my phone was going off, you guys. Okay, sorry about that. So, if you open up the top here, this should be the part where you should be able to insert some batteries. Yep, so let's go ahead and put our batteries inside. And it does require three AAA batteries. Again, this does not come with the kit, so you will need to get your own batteries. But you can go to Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, Target, good old Jazz. Okay. So I think it actually went in this way. I'm hoping, because I really didn't. Oh, chow, because I did not pay attention. Y'all hear how strong that is? <laughs> okay. So let me click the button. Because obviously this is the on and off button, right? Just because I don't want it to be spinning in my hand while I am trying to twist this back on. And this actually had a lot of horsepower in my hand. So... Um, you definitely can remove the bat. Uh, it says please remove battery strip before protection, which I already did. And then you know, as you go, you could just take that off. So I'm just gonna remove it now because I know that it works. But I probably should have waited so I could use some Gooby Gone to get it off. Hi, Crystal. Thanks for joining. So just pull it off slow. So that way you can just get it off. That should be good enough for now. Okay. All right, so now that we got our batteries in, again, I will I'll turn it on so that way you guys can see and feel um, the well, you won't be able to feel it, so I don't know why I said that. So that way you can see um, the horsepower, how fast the drill bits go and everything. Let me get it focused here. Okay. So we got that. Okay. Okay. So now let's go ahead. Um, Stacy says I have the worst luck with acrylic. It takes time. It takes practice. You know, um, keep practicing. Your luck will definitely change. I'll, I always tell y'all, practice makes perfect. Okay, so I'm going to get out my chalk. You can use any chalk you want. Um, this one actually came in a kit for me. Um, I think this one was actually my Savvy Land um, colored acrylic, which is, I'm sorry, Savvy Land colored, colored acrylic set, which they sent me hair chalk. So obviously hair chalk does work with this, any chalk. Also, um, I've heard eyeshadow works. Any type of pigment, it doesn't matter what it is. Any type of pigment you can definitely use to make your color acrylic. So, and then I also know that there's been questions about, well, does it have to be a certain ratio? Well, that's that's what you would have to determine, right? Because you'll know the, the consistency you're looking for. You'll know how pigmented you want it. Obviously, what I always say is that if you are creating a colored acrylic with chalk, um, apply a thin layer or enough layer, um, enough coverage so that way you can get a layer on and then encapsulate with clear. So that's what I typically re uh, recommend. So why don't you guys give me a color 
and we will get started. I'm going to put on some gloves here because I don't want the chalk to be on my fingers. blue pink hot pink yellow neon green i was only gonna do two today so put the color that you guys want most for me to do i got a blue hi nelly how are you second dark plum purple i think it's this one you're talking about Nelly says blue. Okay, let's let's do this. Um, let's do a blue. We'll do that first, and then do the purple. I like the heart, so let's do that. Sky blue. What color do you not have? You have a lot. Ah, uh, <laughs> I think I have all these colors probably. Um, cause you know I've already made a colored acrylic set before. So, I'm just basically doing this for you guys so that way you'll be able to see it in action. So, let's do this uh, nice colored pastel blue. Let's do that one. So, let me put on my other, my other glove here. Okay, so I do recommend that you break your chalk. You don't have to use the entire chalk if you don't want to. You can break it in half. You can use one piece. You can use both pieces. I mean, it's up to you, but typically what I would do is use one piece first so that way you can see how pigmented it comes out. And then what I'm going to do is add some of my Young Nails Clear Acrylic Powder. I'm going to, that's why I said, it's not really a, um, a ratio that I use, but if you guys don't have a scooper, then you should grab one or something that will help you to put in the acrylic powder. So that way you can kind of take a look at your consistency, right? So if you use one, two, three, four, Let's do five, right? Just for the sake of the video, right? A half a piece of chalk and five scoops of clear acrylic. So let's start there, right? You will have to play around with the consistency. So my chalk is in there, as you guys can see. My clear acrylic is in there. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on. And because it's not typically a lot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up and down as the drill is going. So that way it can chop up the chalk. She said, are you going to use glitter in it? You can. We can do that. I can definitely add some glitter um, once we chop it up. So that's what I'm saying. You can create your own custom acrylics. So here we go. So again, because it's a big piece of chalk, it's grinding it up. As you can see, there's some blue specks in it, but it's still a big piece of chalk. Um, this is a tobacco grinder. This is uh, linked down in the description box below for you guys. Again, depending on how big you have the chalk, it's already caught. Hold on, I have to take it off, you guys. You can do a smaller piece. You can do a larger piece. It's up to you. And then, obviously, like I said, if you don't want to use this, you can take your drill. Matter of fact, let me grab the drill so that way I can show you guys. If you don't feel like using it, you can... 
obviously use the container. You can you see it's turning blue. As I said, you could you could use the drill. So hypothetically, like I said, if you don't want to use it, I would grab. Let me get my drill bits. Uh, let's see here. Let's do an extra, extra, extra coarse drill bit. I'm gonna pop that in there. Let's lock that in place. So obviously, I just turned on my drill. All right. So here, I'm going to turn it up to 15,000 RPMs, and I'm going to take the chalk out. Like I said, this is optional. You can continue to use the tobacco grinder, or you can do it just like this. Hold it down here. And then just rub the, I'm probably blocking it, and just rub the drill in there. You guys see it breaking down? See? You can do that. And I know a lot of people also, also say, well, the drill, it burnt out my drill. But what kind of drill did you have to begin with? For one, don't be cheap with your nail products, especially stuff that you are going to be using for a long time and on clients. Invest. Invest in your stuff. Invest in your products. So that way you won't have to worry about anything blowing out. I've used this drill so many times to create a uh, colored acrylic. And obviously my drill still works. So that's why I'm like, don't be cheap with it. Especially if you're trying to make your own colored acrylics in this, right? So, like I said, we don't have to use that whole thing of chalk, right? So, let's let's stop there. So, we use maybe about a quarter of chalk because look at all that blue in there, right? And we only did five scoops of um, the clear powder. So, now what I would probably do is I'm going to extend this a little bit. Well, a lot of it. Let me not lie to y'all. And I'm just going to run it through. Um, I'm just going to run it through the mix. I'm going to put it on three just so that way I can get it in there. Right? So now I'm mixing it. You can do that if you want to. But like I said, you can use the tobacco grinder. Right? You're mixing it through just to make sure you don't have any chunks in it. Just do it. Go around like you using a, a hand mixer, making that old good old red velvet cake. You know? Boom. There you go. Now you mixed it. But yes, you can use a tobacco grinder so you don't get dust in your face. You can also wear a mask. You can also wear safety, gla uh, safety glasses when you're doing that. It's so many, it's so many things that you can do to prevent the dust. I'm coming up but yes you could pop this back on and then you could turn it on and then let it chop it let it chop it for you because you might have not got the oops. you might have not got the the mix that well so turn it on and let it go see it's moving let me come up further for you guys so it's mixing it, making it nice and fine for you. So when you're done, when you're done, shake it off and boom. Let's make sure we get that access off, okay? You will have some, some product up there at the top. It's okay. You can take a brush. Um, you can go ahead and just wipe it down in there. That will work. Okay, right? So we've created our blue. So... You guys want me to put some glitter in there? I think I have uh, I have tons of glitter, if you guys know. So we'll just grab a I'll grab a few blues and we'll go from there. Somebody actually requested that I do a whole glitter collection. 
for nails, but if you guys been rocking with me, you know I have a whole tub of glitter. So, like I said, you can grab some glitter. Let's grab some hexagons. Uh, let's see what other blue I have in here. That's like blue and pink. Let's do this blue. Uh, let's get some tinsel in there. So let's grab these three for now. And uh, yeah, let's go from there. So let's do these. So first what we're gonna do is personally, um, I'm gonna swatch them so that you guys will see the consistency. Let me grab swatching and I'm going to grab a paper towel just so that way you guys can see that this is a good tool to use. Like I said, you can create your own custom mix mixes. You can create them right on hand for your clients. You can do all of that right at your fingertips. Okay, so so I had a client yesterday and she requested glitter. So there's, uh, I still had her uh, old monomer, which I don't throw out the old monomer because I just reuse it to practice only. I don't reuse it on clients, but I just reuse it as practice food, uh, liquid. So the cotton balls help to absorb the glitter. So that way when you're going back in and switching back and forth between your acrylics, you don't have to worry about getting glitter inside of your next layer or your clear acrylic, you know. So that's basically what I do. So here we go. There is the color. And if I was really thinking about this, I don't think to, or you will be able to see the blue. I'm like, you might not be able to see that. <laughs> but yes, you can. Look at the pigment. As I say, it's, it's all, if you don't like the pigment and you want it a little bit lighter, let's add some white. You guys want me to add white? I actually kind of like this color. See, we still have a little piece of chalk in there that wasn't completely dissolved. So... You know, that may be a piece that you don't want to use. Here we go. Here's another. Here, I'll put it here so you guys can see the color. Okay, right? So Nellie says she wants a little bit of white in there. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go grab my white. And Again, like I said, if you want a little bit of white, you want a little lighter, let's pour some of that in there. All right, and put your tobacco grinder back on. Make sure it's nice and tight. If it's not nice and tight, it won't come on. All right. So we're mixing it. Up and down, sideways. Now, you probably don't have to do that. You could probably, depending on if you have a full jar. But I don't have a full jar, which is why I'm turning it upside down some to the side. Just so that way it can mix properly. Because you guys probably can't see it, but it's only half full. Oh, you didn't know that about the cotton balls? Yes. The cotton ball will trap the glitter. Um... Here, I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not. 
is at the bottom. I got a few, I got some glitter in the bottom of my container. I don't know if you guys can see that. You probably can. Nope. They're down there. There you go. So that's why I kept that in there because of my client. But I'm going to take it out, obviously, after I get rid of this monomer. Okay, so we added some um, white in there, right? So now we should have a different shade. It's just a tad bit lighter. If this isn't what you're looking for, then keep going. Find the color that you're looking for. So you see the difference in the blues? Okay. So let me put the swatch back on. There's the blue. As I said, that's with adding white. That was just with the clear. This is adding white. So you can change the consistency of your colors. It's up to you at your discretion. All right. So like I said, um, I'm gonna dump this in here because I'm done with the blue, right? So this is my custom mix for my client. And say my client wants some glitters, let's go ahead and pop some of that in there. It doesn't have to be a lot. All right, let's pop, let's do some of those in here. Yeah. At your discretion, you can add how much glitter you want, small, large, it's your choice. You can measure, me personally, I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of just eyeballing. Again, you eyeball, so I don't I don't have a measure, don't have a guide. I can't tell you how much to use. Was it a teaspoon, a half a spoon, a uh, tablespoon, gallon? I can't tell you that. You gotta, you have to do that on your own. So now, obviously, you could still do this in the tobacco grinder if you wanted to, but it's just glitter, so no need to chop it up. So I'm just going to shake it so that way it can mix together. Right? So I think I shook it enough, right? So now let's go ahead and let's see what we got here. All right? So here's our mix. Here's what we get. I know you can't see it against this blue, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch stick. Here we go right here. Just gonna pat it inside of here. So obviously we'll need to add more glitter as we go. Okay, so we'll have to let that dry. But as you can see, because it's already a milky blue consistency, the tinsel is in there. You have the holographics, it's in there. But the chalk is definitely adding the pigment to the mix. So you can see it in there. Okay. So 
that is done. Let's do one more and then I'll just do this one without the glitter. But I was just showing you guys that you can create whatever you like. Hello, hello to everybody who joined. Sorry, I wasn't looking at my tablet. So I think we had set a plum color, right? Are you guys good with that? So what you can do is you can wipe it out with a paper towel. You can wipe it out with a Clorox wipe in case you don't want to get the color inside of the next color. Personally, that's what I would recommend. Wipe it out. Obviously, like I said, it is chalk, so it may stain just a little bit, but it's all right. But just make sure that it's completely dry before you put your next piece of chalk in. Um, I don't know if you can get a replacement jar for the tobacco grinder because it only came with one. So that's why I'm saying I think you should just get your containers, like whatever containers you're going to use for your acrylic power, your acrylic system. Just once you create the color, dump them into the jars, which is similar how I did to my acrylic. Um, with my acrylic powder, my glitter acrylics that I made. So I have containers that I used my my um, custom glitter mixes with. My custom glitter mixes are on my website for you to purchase if you're interested. I think they're seven dollars still on sale. This one is blue ivy, and you get a two ounce jar. It's it's filled. So yeah, and like I said, I didn't use the tobacco grinder to create these. I just did them by hand. But like I said, now that you got a tobacco grinder, maybe you get three of them, four of them, five of them. Make the process easier for you. I only got one because um, it's just me. You know, I create mine by hand as a special touch. So, but yes, the link is in the description box if you guys want to order the tobacco grinder. Okay, so... This is the blue is done. So I think we said plum, right? Oops, I keep changing this light, y'all. I keep touching my light. Okay, so let's do this plum. Okay. So again, you can break it. Again, I'm going to just use a small piece because, um, like I said, the chalk gives off a pigmented color anyway. Yes, yep, I did create Blue Ivy. And it's already ready to go. Okay, so again, let's start off with my clear acrylic. Again, get your little scooper. I'm going to follow the same method I did. A quarter of um, chalk and five scoops of clear. And then I can decide whether or not I want it, you know, lighter or if I want to add a little bit more of the color chalk, chalk, four and five. Biscuit, have you tried to see if the grinder will fit on one of the other jars you already had? Um, it won't. So I could tell you that because my jars are bigger. So as you can see, it's already passed. It's in the bucket. <laughs> I mean, in the little jar already. So it doesn't fit. It's definitely smaller. Oop, and see, look at that. Me being wasteful. So you know what I'm gonna do. I gotta get all that blue out of my acrylic. Cause this is my clear. That's all you do. If you ever have a mistake like that, easy fix. Just dap where you see the blue and you'll get rid of all of that. Cause the last thing you want is to encapsulate and you get blue in there so there you go it's cleaned up okay so again like i said five scoops which like i said it works for me you do what works for you you have to find the ratio of what works Okay, so 
So let's put this on. We're gonna turn it on. Again, it's not on tighter. And sometimes this can get loose because um, you can unscrew this, this part. So I take it that it has like a safety on it. See, it wasn't on tight enough. There we go. <laughs> it has a safety on it, so it needs to be it needs to be dark um, tight for it to work. So again, like I said, because And it may take a little while because it's a bigger piece of chalk. I don't want you guys to to short it out. But it's it's coming in. It just might take a while. But at least it works for you. Like I said, this is an option. If you feel like it's taking too long and you want to use your drill, go right ahead. Still had a piece in there. <laughs> there we go. So just be careful. But it works. And sometimes you might want a pastel purple. You may not want it to be fully chopped up it's up to you you can also stop it during the process to see where you're at you know see what the chalk is looking like nice little lilac purple i can still see the chalk down there so that's how i'm saying it's up to you you take a look at your color you take a look at how you want it And there's a chalk right there. So you can keep going. You can stop. Make sure, make sure it's on tight. Because if it's not on tight enough, <laughs> it won't go. Okay, let's see where I'm at now. Like I said, you don't have to use the entire piece of chalk. So, I think it's small. Hold on. It's down smaller now. So, let's put that off to the side. Let's take a look and see where we are with our acrylic. If we like this color. Um, this is called a tobacco grinder. The link is in the description box for you guys. Here's the color, it's a dark purple. Again, like I said, even though it looks light, when the liquid hits it, it turns darker. So 
if you want to apply um if you want it to be lighter you have to add white but look at the purple let, let me bring this down a little bit for you guys so you guys can see it there we go This is what's breaking up the chalk here. Yep, I am gonna add white, but I wanna keep doing um, just so you can change it up. Again, like if you don't like the purple, you can add white, make it, make it lighter. Like I said, it's already darker and I really didn't use too much of the chalk. So it's just all based on what type of color consistency you're looking for. She said add white. So let's add some white. Okay. Yes, you can use, you can use your drill bit to do it. Absolutely. I'm just giving you guys another option to use. So now what I'm doing is just mixing that white and purple together. So that way I'm sure we'll come with a different color. Like I said, the drill bit just works just as great. But if you want an extra gadget just to say you have it, why not, right? So... Let's try it out now, right? So now it's lighter because we added that white. So you can create your own colors. And if you think that you went too light, just put the chalk back in there and keep going. Hello, hello to everybody. Just keep going until you find your consistency. Okay. So again, here's my custom color for, for my client. And look what I did. <laughs> I made that up. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> but I'm going to use my top. There we go. So that way I don't waste any color. All right. So that's done. So now here's my custom color for my client. All right. So now again, if you wanted to, you can add all sorts of stuff to here. You can add, let's see, I think I have some purple stuff. So here's some purple tinsel. You can add that. Like I said, if you wanted to do a glitter mix, you don't have to. You can dump a little bit of that in there. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit of that in there. Let's get some purple hexagons. Let's throw that in there. I mean, again, like I said, I'm just eyeballing. You guys do what works for you guys. I'm just giving you an idea. I'm just going to shake it up. She said she wants some hollow in there.
And let's put a hollow in it. Right? So let's put the lid back on. Let's shake it up. So there's your glitter in there. Put that right on top of this so that way you guys will be able to see it. Okay. So I was just showing you this for the sake of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, actually, since there's 22 people in here, let's do a giveaway. <laughs> I'm going to give away these two beautiful jars that we just created, okay? Let's go ahead. So let's see. Um... Trying to see what question I could ask you guys. Uh, ah, let's see if you guys have been paying attention. How much did it cost for me to go to nail school? That's the question. Put down the cost on how much you think it cost me when I went to nail school. And the closest one will win. So that will be the question. And I'll be giving away these two mixes that we just created. I'm going to keep it going for a few. All right, 11K, 10K, 36, 6,000, 1,500, 500, 3,200, 3,500. Who would I forget a bunch? It's okay, no problem. Take a stab at it. Whatever you think. Keep it open just for a little bit. 1500 to uh, 2500. So these are the acrylic mixes that are already, um, the, these are the acrylic mixes that are already created, the ones we just created in this video. The number is for how much you think it costs for me to go to nail school. And I'm giving away these two acrylic, uh, colored acrylics that we just created. All right, everybody get their final, their final guessing.
All right, so I'm gonna cut it off right here. If you have it already, let me get an emoji down here so I can cut it off. Um, all righty. So it actually cost me $1,200 to go to nail school. I paid all up in front. Um, those jars are two ounce jars. So, Sugared Eclipse Nails, you were the closest. <laughs> you were right on the money. So, I already know your Instagram name. I will go ahead and reach out to you. But you can also send me a message. Congratulations to you. Thank you all for watching and tuning in. I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave them down below. The link to the, um, what's that thing called? The tobacco grinder is linked down below. Other than that, I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, see you guys later.